my name is Shelby Bonney, and I'm the host for the Technology for Obama Innovator Series. In the Innovator Series, we're meeting with innovators and business leaders in the technology space, talking about their thoughts, as you would guess, on innovation. I'm joined here today by Chris Kelly. Um, Chris, uh, could you just maybe give us, as context, just a little background on yourself yeah, and for kind sure. of what brought you to here? Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here talking about uh, about the president and about innovation in America. Uh, I come uh, most recently out of uh, Facebook uh, in terms of companies that I've worked with and, and then have since become a technology investor with a little bit of uh, political interspersed in that. I left Facebook to run for Attorney General of California unsuccessfully this time in uh, 2009, uh, but have been long time involved in both the technology process and the political process. I grew up in Silicon Valley, um, came back and started working with Netscape uh, on the Microsoft antitrust case and, and as a lawyer and, uh, and then with uh, uh, Diamond Multimedia in the first uh, suit over MP3 players. And, uh, and then left uh, to, to join startups myself. That was when I so, was still in the so law firm. Yeah. You've seen the breadth of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've, you've advised lots of innovative companies. You've worked in government. Um, and you also, I think, employee within the first 25 at Facebook. Mm -hmm. Could you just maybe give us a glimpse? I mean, that, that must have been one of the most explosive and interesting times in your life. Well, I love startups because they are the future of America. It's people sort of taking a chance, whether they're very young, as Mark and Dustin and Chris Hughes were um, at that point, or whether they're you know, older guys like me and they're you know, in the 30s and 40s who are, who are cutting out and, and, and you know, men and women who sort of start their own company. That early time is an incredible, um, you know, incredibly exciting time. You can think about what the way that the world should be and how your company is going to serve that instead of the way that the world is. And is it what what we all kind of imagine, which is a bunch of people around an open table just throwing out ideas, or is it? I mean, kind of what makes that culture work? A lot of times it's that, and that's that, you know, you have to have those discussions about the way that you think things should work. And then you have to get down to the hard brass tacks of coding it, of, you know, how do you actually do outreach to customers and get them to think about um, things the way that you do instead of the way that they do in their everyday lives. So you're, you're a teeny little team at Facebook. Mm -hmm. Did you have any idea it would end up being what it is today? I actually had a really, really good feeling about it um, as I met Mark and as I sort of talked to the team. Uh, I had been on an advisory board uh, with Sean Parker, who I'd known from digital music stuff, and he said, you've got to come over and meet Mark and see, see what this is like. And you know, we were only operating U.S. colleges then, but had uh, you know, every college campus that we'd gone to, uh, it was ubiquity and fast. And the reason was that it was finally giving people a chance to connect with the people that they were seeing in real life too, and to learn more about them. And so the you know the profile was I mean, we didn't have news feed, we didn't have any of these different things, but the profile was where you know was where the action was, and that was enough that was compelling about people around them that I I, I thought that this was a huge huge idea. Real identity was the core of it, though. It wasn't about creating an online profile that was a fake view of yourself. It was about, you know, this is who I am, this is what I'm doing in my everyday life. And do you, um, uh, when you look at kind of that group of people, because I think at the time you were probably one of the more experienced business leaders on that team, What's it like working with among young people that don't have any limits or experience in terms of what they've seen? It's exciting. It's because you know when people kind of don't know what hasn't worked before, and when they don't know how the the, the twenty five million different ways that you can fail, they're willing to try a lot of different things. And you try to guide it, and you try to help with some experience, but ultimately, you know, harnessing that excitement and trying to build on it instead of instead of trying to tamp it down is what startups are about. It's what you know. America is about. Yeah. It's about not seeing limits. It's yeah. about passion. It's about really Absolutely. It out there. And really saying, you know, this is, I believe so deeply that this is the way the world should be. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try to build this myself. Great. Well, Chris, it's been a pleasure talking to you and we look forward to talking to you again. Really so glad thank you. Do this.